Hello, my name is Tony Pike and I am the founder of CAT3C. CAT3C is designed to provide supplemental training as you work your way through your ATPL studies. To help you achieve your goal of becoming a professional pilot, CAT3C have developed an invaluable series of unique EASA ATPL exam passbooks, which have been specifically designed for the iPad and are available in the Apple iBook store. The passbooks contain hundreds of exam style questions and are supported by clear in-depth explanations and interactive diagrams. The link to the iBooks can be found on the web page below or at the CAT3C website at the Bookstore tab. Additionally, we currently deliver three-day classroom-based general navigation courses and will also be providing future interactive online training sessions plus a range of pre-recorded video seminars. More information on our online sessions and our three-day UK-based classroom training courses can be found at our website www.cat3c.com But for now, sit back and enjoy this QEV. Calculate the approximate indicated altitude required by an aircraft to fly over a mountain range with a minimum clearance of 2,000 feet. The highest obstacle indicated in the navigational chart has an elevation of 9,800 feet. The QNH calculated at a meteorological station at an elevation of 6,200 feet is 1022 hectopascals. The outside air temperature is equal to ISA plus 5 degrees centigrade. The answers are A between 11,800 and 12,000 feet, B between 10,900 and 11,100 feet, C between 11,500 and 11,700 feet, and D is between 11,900 and 12,200 feet. Note with this question you're actually given bracketed answers so you can find what the object of the question is to find an answer that falls within the two extremes within each answer. So the first thing we need to do is to realize that what we're actually looking for is an indicated altitude, not a true altitude. The true altitude is actually given to us within the question and we can solve that in this way. If we realize that we have a mountain range 9,800 feet high and a MET station 6,200 feet high, both being measured above sea level, where the QNH is 1022 hectopascals. The elevation here, 6,200 feet, and the elevation, the highest elevation, is 9,800 feet, both being above mean sea level. The aircraft is required to clear the mountain range by 2,000 feet, which is that part there which gives us a minimum required altitude of 11,800 feet, being the sum of the elevation of the highest terrain plus the 2,000 feet clearance. But what we must remember is that this is a true altitude. This is an absolute altitude. The mountain will be 9,800 feet high, regardless of any change in temperature or pressure, and the 2,000 feet is a minimum absolute clearance. Therefore, the minimum altitude must be 11,800 feet true altitude. What we need to do is to calculate the indicated altitude. Indicated altitude from true altitude will be calculated by applying the temperature error correction. The temperature error correction is calculated within that region between the point where the pressure is actually measured. That would be the QFE datum and the altitude of the aircraft. To find that, we simply subtract 6,200 feet from 11,800 feet. So the aircraft will actually be 5,600 feet above ground level. 
Within that region, we find the temperature error correction. In order to calculate the temperature error correction, it's equal to 4 feet per 1,000 feet per degree of ISA deviation. Equals 4 feet times 5,600 divided by 1,000, 5.6 times the ISA deviation. In this question, we don't need to calculate it because we're already told that the outside air temperature is ISA plus 5. So therefore, we simply enter plus 5 into that part of the equation. Multiply these numbers together. 4 times 5.6 times plus 5 is plus 112. So the temperature error would be 112 feet. It's a positive error which means that the altimeter will be actually under-reading what our true altitude is. So to find out what the altimeter is actually reading, we need to apply this very simple formula. True altitude is equal to indicated altitude plus or minus the temperature correction. We know the true altitude is 11,800 feet. The indicated altitude is what we're trying to find. And we know that the error is plus 112 feet. We now need to transpose this formula to put indicated altitude on one side of the equal sign by itself and the numbers together on the other side of the equal sign. In order to do that, we have to take plus 112 feet over to the other side of the equal sign where the plus symbol changes to a minus symbol. If you change sides of the equal sign, then you change signs. So that would become 11,800 minus 112 feet equals indicated altitude equals 11,688 feet above mean sea level. Therefore, the answer that we're looking for is between 11,500 and 11,700 feet. That's the only option that that number falls between.